everyone, it's Meg, and today I'm going to be doing an impromptu haul. Um, I saw these for a really good price and decided to try to finish my Red Velvet collection. So I have here the, I do believe, five albums that I am missing from my collection. And I'll show you guys what I pull in these, and then I'll show you guys the albums that I do have with the photo cards that I pulled from them. Red Velvet is one of my favorite girl groups, so I'm really, really excited to finally have these albums. I did pre-order their upcoming comeback. I got the Yeti version of um, the, the new album, and I do believe there's two different versions. There's a version with the member editions or the member covers, and then there is the guidebook version, but I got the Yeti version, and it should be coming hopefully soon, and I'm so excited about that, but yeah. Let's just break into these. I'm so, so excited to finally have all of these. Red Velvet has some of my favorite B-sides in K-pop and my bias in Red Velvet is Yeti, so it would be awesome to pull a Yeti photo card, but yeah, so excited, so yee, let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to open up is going to be ice cream cakes. So there's two versions of these. Um, there's the ice cream cake version and the automatic version. I ordered all of these albums on Amazon. I got them Amazon Prime. And so this is random. So this is the version that I got here. I didn't open up the plastic, um, which probably was a mistake on my part <laughs> because it's always hit or miss whether or not I'm gonna actually be able to open these albums up nicely without having any issues. And yeah, this one is giving me a little struggle. Come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can't do it, okay. Yeah, I don't have a, um, there we go. I don't have a, like a box cutter or anything, so I just kind of have to hope for the best. I'm not going to do like a full unboxing of these, only because I'm sure you guys have seen all of these albums unboxed before. I'll do a quick flip through though. So that is the front and the back of ice cream cake, and ooh, I'm so excited. It is so gorgeous, honestly. I think this is the version that I would have picked up if I had an option and it wasn't random. So yes, let's find my photo card and I got, oh my God, that is so freaking beautiful. <laughs> I always pull Wendy. <laughs> I literally always pull Wendy for my photo cards. I feel like I have a, a, I'm like a Wendy magnet. It's true. I feel like I pull Wendy a lot, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous photo card. And then you get this SM ad. And then I'll just flip through the photo book for you guys really quickly. I loved this concept and I loved Yeti's introduction to the group and she immediately became my bias and I love her so, so much. So yeah, that is ice cream cake and I pulled Wendy. I feel like I always pull Wendy. <laughs> I feel like if I buy a red velvet album, there is a 70% chance there's a Wendy photo card inside, but so, so happy. So this is ice cream cake and then next up is the velvet and this is the jewel case packaging, which SM makes me hate so, so much that they seem to always do for like the velvet type themes and it kills me because the velvet albums have some of my favorite B-sides, but they always get the jewel case packaging that makes me cry. And I'm like, SM, come on, <laughs> don't do red velvet dirty. Give them the really, really awesome packaging. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what the new album packaging will look like, but this is the front and the back or reverse <laughs> of the velvet. And then inside here should be a standard jewel case and photo book if I can ever pull it out. Okay, oh boy. That's the only bad thing about these is that it's a tight fit and sometimes you can break the CD case, the outer case anyway. And then this is the CD. And that's the inside. I think this would be a lyric book if, if it goes the way that all of the other ones go. Yes, looks like... I really, really, really liked one of these nights. I know that it wasn't everyone's favorite comeback, but I really, really did. I really love that. Light Me Up is one of my favorite B-side tracks from them. Red Velvet B-sides are gold. I feel like 
even if you're not in love with the title track, you will find a B-side or two on their album that you are obsessed with. So this is the photo book here. So let's just get the photo card out and then I'll flip through really quickly. So SM ad. I like when they do the custom ads for the album, but it's okay. And then my photo card. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Shut up. You're kidding. <laughs> I don't pull Joy that much. I feel like I don't pull Joy a lot. And Joy in this era, I just, I feel like she shined so, so much. Um, her and Sulgi were my favorites this era, along with Yeti, of course. But yes, I'm just, oh wow, that is gorgeous. Joy has like had the most amazing like evolution. So it's really, really cool to see that. And then let's flip through this really quickly. I loved this era. I really, really loved this era. It was awesome. I like that they did a ballad type song. I know it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but it was mine. <laughs> I really, really love one of these nights still. I can't get this back in. We'll put that back in later. <laughs> and then we have a Russian Roulette. I loved this song. It took a second because when I heard it, I'm like, what is, is what is this song? What is happening? But it's 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 the same kind of feeling when I heard Rookie for the first time. I was like, what is Red Velvet doing? And then the second time I listened, I'm like, okay, I love this song. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I'm just really happy that I can finally say that I've, I've done good on my Red Velvet collection. So that is the front and the back of a Russian Roulette. And they always have the, the cutest photo books and the cutest everything. Oh, oh, custom ad. I'm sorry, I do get excited about these because I think they're cute. So that's the SM ad. And I love that it's a custom ad. Thank you, SM. Very cute. Photo card time. I told y'all. <laughs> How did I tell y'all? I am a Wendy magnet. This is such a cute photo card, you guys. <laughs> this is the cutest photo card ever, honestly. She's so adorable. I told you guys, I'm a Wendy magnet. And then, just a quick flip through of the photo book. I loved this era. I love the music video this era. It was amazing. So, yep, that is Russian Roulette. And then we have The Red Summer. This era was everything to me. I thought this is probably one of my favorite eras from Red Velvet. And the B-sides of this era were absolutely no joke. They did not they did not play. <laughs> they were not playing at all, honestly. You Better Know is still one of my favorite Red Velvet songs of all time. So that is the front and the back. And here is the inside. Oh, they're just, they're so cute. And they involve food so much, like in their Korean releases and in the Japanese releases. Um, and it's really awesome because I, I love food. So seeing like the fruit and then in the Japanese release for cookie jar, the cookies, Red Velvet really understands me, so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I told you guys. Oh my god. This is crazy. I'm literally like, like, there is a magnet to me and Wendy. There is a magnet to me and Wendy. This is like, this, this is like a Wendy haul. <laughs> it really is. Oh my god. That is so funny. That is so funny. But literally, it happens all the time. Oh, the custom ad is so cute. I love the SM custom ads. But yeah, I told you guys, I am a Wendy magnet. I feel like I never pull Solgi. I have to see in my old photo cards. I'm not sure if I've pulled Solgi before. Um, I know I've pulled Yeti in one. And I think I've pulled Irene and Joy before now. But I'll have to just double check and see. I love this era. And again, you better know. I feel like that could have been a title track. Because that's one of my favorite songs, so... Yes, that is The Red Summer. And then we have this absolute 
beauty the perfect velvet i loved this era so so much even though the packaging is just i i don't i don't enjoy <laughs> the jewel case packaging so 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 much so i feel like sm should just leave it behind and just never do it again i just i hate it i hate the jewel case packaging <laughs> i really really do and i love that when they give them like really interesting packaging like summer magic or rookie i feel like red velvet deserves that so that is the front and this is the back and these are oh my god they're such a pain to get out <laughs> come on come on oh my goodness oh frayed 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 okay okay so this is the cd a uh, little crack of course it's fine and that's <laughs> see look seriously jewel encrusted pizza i mean i don't think it would be too delicious but it looks really cute and i love like the menu style they just they just understand what i love and enjoy as a person i really appreciate that about red velvet so yes Normally in these kinds of um, CDs, you are kind of likely to get a little damage, um, depending on how tight the outer cover is, at least on the actual jewel case itself, but that's not a big deal to me. I don't really mind. And then this is the photo book. So we'll get a photo card. Okay. Is it going to be Wendy? Because <laughs> I've pulled one non-Wendy photo card. I think I've only pulled Joy. That's not Wendy. So let's see. <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> I pulled so Listen, I've been in a Solgi drought. This is like, oh my God. I'm so, so happy. I literally have just wanted to pull a Solgi photo card. And I'm Yeti biased. So like if every photo card was Yeti, I'd be super happy. But I'm in a Solgi drought. So this makes me so happy. <laughs> I finally pulled Solgi. Thank you. I can't remember if I've pulled Silgi before. I'll have to look in my photo cards, but I feel like I haven't pulled her in a very long time. So yes, Silgi, oh, I loved her this era. She was my everything. Peekaboo was such an amazing era. And all custom SM ad. They knew what I like. Thank you. And then we'll just flip through these really quickly. This is probably, like, visually one of my favorite Red Velvet eras. I feel like this one and the Bad Boy era were just, like, back-to-back -back so absolutely stunning. Like, it took my breath away. Especially, like, Yeti. And, yeah, watching Yetis blow up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Her being my bias, it's literally... I cry. So, that is my whole haul. But I will show you guys the other albums that I've already had in my collection, along with the photo cards. So... I have the red here, and yes, this was the first Red Velvet album I ever got, and I was so happy to get it because I am a dumb dumb fanatic. And then, so this is similarly to the other jewel case packaging. This is a lyrics book. Kind of matches the same thing as the. Um, as the velvet with the lyrics and then this is a photo book and then for this version I got <laughs> see do you see I got Wendy <laughs> my first ever bowl was Wendy it's so funny when I first got into Red Velvet um, during happiness era and be natural era my two biases were Wendy and Sulgi and then the second I saw Yeti, it was over for everyone. <laughs> Yeti was immediately my absolute number one bias, but yes. That is the red. I'm not even going to try to put that back in right now. <laughs> and then I have Rookie. So I have Yeti's cover, which I love this whole, whole album so much. Body Talk probably is, is my favorite Red Velvet song of all time. I just adore Body Talk. So yes, really happy to have this and super happy to have Yeti's version because she is my bias. And then this cute CD. And photo card is anyone surprised? It's Wendy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. There are some people that like 
I have like really good luck with pulls, but like Wendy literally is just every album I pull Wendy. Like every album it feels like, with the exception of some, but a lot of the time it's just all Wendy all the time. She's like, did you buy a Red Velvet album? I'm your photo card. <laughs> So yes, that is Ricky. And then we have the Perfect Red Velvet. Bad Boy was everything to me. The whole aesthetic, the whole style of the song. Probably one of my favorite title tracks from them. Yeti's haircut, I'm just over the moon about. So this is the CD. And then in here... We have lyrics. I really love this era. I still watch the Bad Boy videos so many times and it never gets old for me. I never get tired of watching it. So for this one, I got the most gorgeous photo card ever. I was like, dying i was dying because like i never pull her i never pull her as you can see i never pull her it's so a finally to pull her was everything to me i'm like thank you thank you so much and this photo card is so so cute so yes and then as always there's an sm ad there's this little genie code which if it still works feel free to take it <laughs> i'm sure if it would still work by now but yes if it does, then by all means, please use it because I can't use it. And this whole photo book, my whole life, yes. And that is the Perfect Red Velvet. And then we have Summer Magic. So I have the Yeti cover um, and the Yeti version of Summer Magic. I absolutely love this theme. Power Up is just... <laughs> It's amazing. It honestly, honestly is. I was like, it's so colorful. It's like Dum Dum meets um, the whole Red Summer concept. It's amazing. And so with this version, you get the cover and then it's like member specific in here. So you get these little kind of pieces to stick if you want to use this as a display. Um, I won't take them all out because there's a lot, but you get um, your member piece for Yeti, you get some of the other members as well, some um, different items, and then also you'll get a random standee to put in there. So, yes, it's awesome. And then, oh, oh, I think, I think, I don't know where my photo card is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where my photo card is. Okay, so let's show the photo cards. So for this one, you get two. So I got Joy's clear card here, if it'll focus. There we go, perfect, absolutely gorgeous. And then this is one of my favorite photo cards. Like who, who, uh, who even told her that this was okay? <laughs> who told her that this was okay? Cause I don't know who that was, but someone needs to tell her that it's not because she's too darn cute. Okay, so yes, that is the photo cards that I got. So now I do believe I have a photo card for every member, which makes me super happy. And then there is the lyrics, and I love this because it kind of folds out the same way like um, the Perfect Velvet does. And it has all of the little mixes for the different songs. And I think, I think it's so cute. I think Red Velvet has some of the cutest packaging. When SM actually puts in the time to give them cute packaging, like, they really do hit it out of the park. And this concept was so, so awesome. That is Summer Magic. And then the last one that I have here is RBB really bad boy <laughs> I loved this because I was able to get it on release day because it was on Amazon Prime and it was cool it's the first Red Velvet album I've ever been able to get on release day so for the I think it's the US version you get a fold-out poster so 
got this fold out poster of the girls and it is so cute um yeah they all are absolutely stunning this era um yeti of course i'm biased because yeti is my bias but i feel like yeti absolutely shine the center time that yeti got like she deserves like all the center time give yeti more lines give yeti all the center um but yes i feel like they're all absolutely absolutely amazing um this era so that is the lyrics book very similar to the other stylings of the jewel case which i never want to see again from sm and then that is the disc And then there's the photo book. And then inside for the first time ever, I got Yeti. Like literally, I was gonna cry because I've never pulled Yeti and she's my bias. So when I got this album and I pulled her, and this is the, this is the photo card I wanted because they have two different ones for each member. And this is the one I wanted. So to pull this one first for her, um, I don't buy photo cards. So I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a photo card because I don't collect them, but to actually pull one of hers was so awesome. So I'm really, really grateful and thankful for that because I love her so much. So yes, I'll just flip through the photo book really quickly. I love the pictures this era. They're really cool. I kind of like the little horror Halloween theme, even though it came out after Halloween, so it was kind of weird. <laughs> but it was very red velvet, and I really do appreciate it. So, yeah, that was everything. Also, Butterflies. Amazing song. So, yes, that is my whole Red Velvet collection as of right now. I am waiting for the new album to be released and then for it to come to my house. And I'm excited to see the packaging and excited to see the B-sides that the girls have because they never disappoint on those. So, yeah, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!